in hearing the word of the Lord. And when he heard the word of the Lord, uh, because he was in a time of threshing, and he was at the threshing floor, and he was, uh, you know, you know, sifting out the wheat, threshing the the the, the wheat. And then they would take it and hide it so that the enemy couldn't come in and steal it. All of those things are um, like the setup to give us an understanding of where Gideon was at. But then it goes on to say that when the Lord told him, you're a mighty man of valor. And then I want you to, you're going to be the one that delivers the people is what he was saying. I felt like the Lord was saying that Gideon was trying to get all of those people involved to be in the army because he was used to the chaos. And so he was trying to figure out a way to combat the chaos based on natural means instead of um, God said that he would be the deliverer, which he, I believe that, that scripture meant that he could have done it all by himself the same way that he did it with 300 instead of the thousands that he was trying to gather around him. But I think that's because of, of the chaos he had to deal with in, in his life during the time of threshing. Mm -hmm. Right? And so... There can be a word that comes to you, and I say this cautiously, but there's a word that will come to you during your time of threshing that removes you from the feelings and the emotions and the state of mind that you're in that you have to move away from purposefully so that you can move into what Gideon's was, was a, the new name, the new purpose the new thing that God had for him. And he's saying, I want you to break down those altars that were maintaining what the enemy was doing in your life during the time of threshing, the time of sifting. So then there has to be a complete change of focus. No, you don't need everything you thought you needed in order to accomplish what the Father placed in your hands. What you need is still going to be based on the new thing and the new day that you're walking into, that things will be done differently, that things will not be done the same way that you would have done them to achieve the same purpose during threshing. Now that you're moved away from threshing, you no longer are having to deal with that, which, which is what Gideon was dealing with. He, was, he kept dealing with... Uh, Prove, prove me, prove this, prove that. Show me this, Lord, uh, fleecing this, using the fleece. You know, if, if this happens, then I know that it's you. Because he's threshing. He's trying to thresh out. And the Lord is saying, we don't need to do that. We don't want to walk the same way. We don't want to be fleecing the Lord, of course. But we don't want to walk in the old when we're already in something new trying to use the ways of the old to accomplish the new thing in our life. When we, when we are removed and those altars are broken down, we, we have to purposefully renew our mind and really listen to the Lord so that we don't start trying to bring in uh, old ideas, concepts, and things that we do in order to try to make it. But with every new place, there's a new plan. That's, that's too bad I didn't record that. <laughs> I got you. That was good right there. Uh, <laughs> I received, that was so good. You didn't record that? I didn't write that down. I don't know if I, I know, I should have, I wish I had. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it'll come out. But it is for our ears only. Yeah. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Father.